In this video, I'm going to be going over how to export your data. So in this example, I'm going to be exporting to an Excel file. So um, as you can see here, I've already um, set up my uh, data regions, my header data and footer regions, and um, it's ready for export. But what you want to do before you export your data is make sure that everything is looking right. So you should always hit the preview icon and check to see if everything is the way you'd like it to look. And here everything looks fine, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit this little icon that says create new export setting and run to Excel. Now the first window that pops up is um, where you specify where you want to save the, uh, the file. So I'm just going to call it sample orders. We'll call it sample orders four and select save. And you also have other options, like if you'd like to check off the first row contains the header, you have the option to do so. If you want to specify the worksheet, if you have multiple worksheets in your Excel file, or if you'd like to append to a file that already exists, you can go ahead and check that option. But I'm going to leave everything as is and go ahead and hit the next button. Now here is where you can make uh, other changes to your fields. Say you'd like to change the header name. Um, you would do that here in the header column, not the name one. You want to leave that alone. If you want to make any changes to the header, you go to the header column and we can say I wanted to just not have, uh, I wanted to make spaces in all of the ones that are have two words. You can go ahead and just make those adjustments here. And you can also move around the fields if you'd like. Say I want account ID to be the first field. I can use these arrows up here to move around my uh, fields. So now that one's the first one. I can also change the formats, um, like the ones, for example, this date. If I want to specify uh, how exactly I want the date format to be, I can do that here. So yeah, you can just play around here and uh, make the changes that work for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit next and everything looks good. So I'm going to hit OK. So now once you export, uh, you can see I have 11 records and all you can check here. All of the 11 records were exported and it gives you a link to open your Excel file. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and I'll show you that everything worked and you can see that the changes I made to the headers by putting in spaces were applied and that is how to export your data. Thank you for watching this video.